You know, my family lives within two miles from here. I've got four young kids and you know, I'm completely confident that we're doing the right things here at the Cook Plant, not only to protect them, but to protect all of Southwest Michigan. So we have roughly 1,200 people that work here and then during refueling outages, we'll bring in another 1,000 to, to 1,500. To become an operator, you have first have to have some prerequisite knowledge. You have to have some familiarity with the plant, thermodynamics, reactor physics, some chemistry. And then once you make it through the fundamentals, then you get into system specific training where you learn about all of the individual systems. You end up in the simulator where you learn how to take everything you learned about those individual systems and roll them all up and, and figure out how to operate the plant in the, in the control room. We make sure that we do our jobs without error every day. We have a strong environmental department who works very aggressively to make sure that we go beyond the regulations, we go beyond just compliance. We strive for excellence in how we manage our business so that we don't impact the environment. In the 20 years I've worked at, at the Cook Nuclear Plant, we maintain the highest principles and, and we conduct ourselves as professionals in the electric industry. We understand how beautiful Southwest Michigan is and we do everything to protect that.